All right. Well, we do have the Mosby family bringing Evelyn Jail to come and be baptized. If the elders who are here today will come join me up front. We are excited for God's goodness to this family, for the blessings that he's poured out on all of them, and for the way that he continues to grow this family in, in the covenant and in uh, the love of God. We rejoice that we can be together today and celebrate this moment. Congregation of the Lord Jesus Christ, as we celebrate holy baptism, let us hear our Lord Jesus Christ's institution of the sacrament. After he had victoriously risen from the grave, Jesus said to his disciples, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. In obedience to this command, the church baptizes believers and their children. The children of believers are pronounced holy in Scripture as children of the covenant and children of promise. Therefore, in obedience to the Lord's direction, we disciple them by baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit, and then teaching them to observe all that Jesus has commanded. As solemn vows are about to be made before you and baptism is administered, you who are baptized will do well to take this occasion to reflect upon your own baptism to think about what it means for you all. Christ has put His name and claim upon you. He calls you to be repentant for your sins against your covenant God, to confess your faith before men, and to live in newness of life to God, who sealed His covenant with you by the blood of His Son. Well, John and Kylie, you are beloved by God and this congregation, very sincerely, very deeply. We're baptizing your daughter today, not out of superstition or mere custom, but for the purpose that God has intended, even as we reflect on this morning in the sermon. And that it may be clear that you're doing what God commands today. We want you to answer the following question sincerely. Do you acknowledge that although our children are conceived and born in sin, and therefore would be subject to condemnation, they are nevertheless holy in Christ by virtue of the covenant of grace, and as children of the covenant are to be baptized? Yes. Praise God. Do you promise to teach diligently to Evelyn the principles of our holy Christian faith revealed in the scriptures of the Old and New Testaments and summarized in the confession of faith and catechisms of the church? Yes. Praise God. Do you promise to pray regularly with and for Evelyn and to set an example of piety and godliness before her? Yes. Praise God. And finally, do you promise to endeavor by all the means that God has appointed to bring your children up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord, encouraging both of them to appropriate for themselves the blessings and to fulfill the obligations of the covenant? Yes. Praise God. Let's bow and pray together. Our Father in heaven, we pray that you will never destroy us in our sin as you once did with the flood upon the world, but rather that you will save us, O oh God, even as you saved believing Noah and his family, that you would spare us as you spared the Israelites who walked safely through the waters of the Red Sea. We pray that Jesus Christ, who went down into the Jordan River and came up to receive the Holy Spirit, who sank deep into death and was raised up as the Lord of life, that He will always keep us and our little ones in the grip of His hand. We pray, O Holy Father, that Your Spirit will separate us from sin and openly mark us with a faith that can stand the light of day and endure the dark of night. Prepare us now, O Lord, to respond with glad hope to Your promises so that we and all entrusted to our care may drink deeply from the well of living water. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Do you want to hold her or do you want me to? Okay. Praise God. Oh, sweetie, you're so beautiful. All right. Evelyn J. L. Mosby, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Praise God. Well, as Evelyn Jail is baptized into Christ and becomes a member of the visible church, the whole congregation is obligated to love and receive her as a member of the body of Christ. For we were all baptized by one spirit into one body, and therefore are members of one another. Christ claims this child as his own and calls you to receive her in love and commitment. 
Therefore, you ought to commit yourself before God to assist Evelyn Jail and her parents in her Christian nurture by your godly example, prayers, and encouragement in our most precious faith. To John and Kylie, beloved in Christ Jesus, we give thanks to God for this child He has given you and for your expressed desire for her to know and follow the Lord all her days. Along with the great blessing of the gift of this child have come responsibilities that you've just acknowledged and to which you've solemnly committed yourselves. And I charge you to continue steadfastly in the commitments that you've made today before God and these witnesses, humbly relying upon the grace of God in the diligent use of the means of grace, especially the Word of God, the sacraments and prayer. And God will bless your family even as you do so. Let's bow and pray together. O oh Lord, our gracious God, forever faithful to your promises, we thank you for assuring us again in the sacrament of baptism that you forgive us and that you receive us as your children in Christ. Grant wisdom and love to these parents, O oh God, and to us all as we carry out the vows made and as we seek to lead our children in the love of Christ. Please guide our little ones throughout their lives. Enable all of them to respond in faith to the gospel. Fill them with your spirit. Make their lives fruitful. Uphold them in the hour of trial. And when Christ returns, let them celebrate with all the people of God your greatness and goodness forever in the joy of your new creation. Amen.